This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida, with your 9 a.m. update. And currently, we have all U.S. equity futures trading to the upside. Dow futures up 325, 1%. 2% for the NASDAQ, that's 232 points. 1.5% basically for the S&P, 55 points. And the Russell is up 25 points. <coughs> Overseas last night in Asia, all markets closing higher. Shanghai up 1%. Nikkei, 2 and 7 tenths percent. Same for the Hang Seng, <coughs> 2%. <coughs> For the uh, Australian S&P, DAX is up 1.5%. FTSE is up 1 and 8 tenths percent. The rally that we're seeing inside the U.S. equity markets today should hold. Those are the signals coming from the overseas markets. You've got gold back 16 bucks, trade out at 1808. Silver's down 10 cents at 2066 out there. Light sweet crude trading up 273, 108.87 is its print. Natural gas up 11 cents, 781 there. So let's do this here real quickly. Um, and let's go take a look at that uh, because we, we, we take a look at it's, we should see my opinion. We should see some type of selling. We should at least see one more round of selling, you would think. And that would typically take place right around now as we go into the market open. Now, that selling, the indice that's gotten hit the worst has been basically the Nasdaq. So here I've gone to my kind of ultra short term time frame charts just to look for signals. So as we look at a five minute chart. You can see a confirmed roads momentum indicator top. Price right now should pull back to support. Support is at 12.152. If price can close below 12.152, the next level of support gets us to our 10 minute chart, which also has a roads momentum indicator top. That would get you to 12.143. The 15 minute also have a roads momentum indicator top out here. Its level of support would be between 12.067 and 12.094. The 30 minute chart, there's nothing there for us to, there's no topping signal. There is support at 12.132 out there. And the real level of support that I would be keeping my eye on is this green oscillator and change line for the 60 minute chart for the NQ. Currently that is printing at exactly 12.105. And if price can get back to a green oscillator and change line after it changes colors, holds, tests and rejects it, and rejects it, that is a bullish signal. And if we get that, then we probably don't see any further real significant sells during the day as price, the NQ that is, goes and targets the 12, 533 area. But really it's 12, 379, that's gonna be for the first significant level of resistance to the upside. Folks, stay tuned. I believe uh, Larry Pesavento is filling in for Tommy O'Brien. Have a fantastic Friday, even though it is